Hi there, Jesse from Full of Strength and Conditioning here. In today's short video, I want to discuss what to eat on game day, or even training day for that matter. So a lot of times, uh, especially when we're training or if we have an event that's coming up, the question gets posed, what should I eat? What do I eat on competition or game day? So there's three factors that we need to sort of tick um, to ensure that we're going to perform at our best. So number one, it's about repetition. So let's just say we have an event coming up on a Sunday. It's on a weekend. You shouldn't really deviate too far from what you do through the weekdays. So it's all about replicating and repeating your good nutritional practices from the weekdays to the weekend. Nothing drastic should really change from those days. It's just another day. Hopefully you're still being training through the weekdays and we just want to carry that over to the game day or the event. Okay, so that's ensuring we're getting proteins, good carbohydrates and a fat source in each meal. Which leads me to number two. We need to ensure that the foods we're taking on are going to fuel the body and give us energy to perform the task or activity. Okay? So it should be something that leaves you feeling bloated or sluggish as well. So you need to identify, you probably know as well, some food groups that your body doesn't really like or doesn't tolerate too well, might feel a little bit bloated or make you feel a little bit flat. Um, try and avoid those type of foods. You want to be feeling light so that you can complete the activity or the task once again. And this leads me to number three, try and steer clear of foods that make you uncomfortable um, or at detriment to your performance. So if you have foods that are high in or high acidic, things like juices, even tomatoes, some people's stomachs react and just don't quite like it, then those are things that you'll need to try and avoid before your activity or exercise or game day. Okay? So, recapping just quickly. Do exactly what you've done throughout the week. Good nutrition is repeating good practices over and over again. Good carbs, good proteins, good fats in each meal. Number two, we just need enough energy to complete the task. Nothing more, nothing less. We need to fuel the body to complete a task. That's it. And number three, stay away from foods or liquids that make you feel uncomfortable or change the way that you feel or perform. So if you know there's a juice that maybe upsets your stomach or if you know bread bloats you, maybe stay away from those things on game day. Okay, that's all I wanted to share with you guys. I hope you can implement them and improve your performance on your exercise, activity, or your game day. All right, until next time, have a great day. Bye-bye.